Hey all, Chris from Science of Speed. Today we're going to be doing a demonstration on this 2006 Honda S2000 to show traction control setup for the Science of Speed AM Infinity system for the 2006 through 09 Honda S2000 application. Let's go check it out. The 2006 through 2009 S2000 includes a VSA uh, switch as well as two VSA lamps on the dash. Now we've uh, designed the system to be able to work uh, with the switch and those lamps. There's a couple steps to set that up. First what we need to do is go to wizards and the input function assignment. We're looking for the analog 0 to 5 tab. We want to click traction control slip target trim input setup and set that to TC switch latch. Now this switch is a momentary switch so we're going to be using that momentary switch to turn traction control on and off. The next step is that we need to set the input to analog 10. That's the uh, uh, wire that goes to that switch. Next, what we want to do is go to our outputs tab for output function assignment. We're looking for LS6 and LS7. LS6 turns on the VSA lamp. LS7 turns on the warning indicator to let us know that wheel slip is actually happening. On the LS6 tab, you can see that there's a couple selections here. What we're looking to do is set the x-axis to engine speed. It really can be anything. Uh, engine speed is uh, just the default, and that's what we're going to go with. On the y-axis, or the uh, vertical axis, we're going to set that to TC slip target mile per hour. Next, we want to go to LS7. Same setup. We're going to set the vertical axis to TC slip measured. The next step that we want to do is go to the Outputs 2 tab. Now on this tab, LS6 and LS7 uh, is listed both as uh, frequency as well as the duty. Now how we're going to set this up is I've already configured the table to have three breakpoints at 10, 11, and 205. 205 indicates that there is uh, traction control off and 11 and below indicates that traction control is on. Now I've set up the second break point at 11 mile per hour to help with uh, reducing interpolation between vertical cells. Now at this point you can check with the switch to see if we're working and you can see that the indicator lamp on the dash changes when the switch is pressed. Now again this is a momentary switch so by configuring the TC switch latch you can see that when the switch is pressed and held down, that's our indication to the ECU to change the latch position of the switch. Now next we can set up the LS7 duty table. Now the way this works is I've got three break points as well at 0 mile per hour, 2 mile per hour, and 10 mile per hour. Again I've added that second break point to reduce interpolation. Now how this is going to work is when there is wheel slip above 10 miles an hour, there's going to be 60% uh, duty that is going to the uh, output of the lamp, which is going to turn the lamp on. Now I've configured the frequency at 5 hertz, and I've set the duty at 60, which seems to be a good uh, combination to get a good uh, bright lamp indicating that there's wheel slip. Now what I'm going to do, just for testing purposes to show you this working, is I'm going to set this break point at 60 as well. And you can see when there is wheel slip, uh, there's going to be the indicator lamp that indicates that wheel slip is actually happening. Now I'm going to set that back to zero because obviously the wheels aren't slipping now and that light shouldn't be on. Now that we've configured our input for the switch and our output for the lamps, we can actually configure traction control. If you click the TC tab, you'll find four methods of traction management. The first is fuel cut, then we have spark cut, throttle blade angle reduction, and timing reduction. On this calibration, we're using both fuel cut and timing reduction to manage traction control. You can experiment with the four to find a combination that gives you the most desirable results. So now that we've configured traction control, the last step is to enable it. To do so, go to Wizards, Traction Control, check the box that says Traction Control Enable, and also configure the various parameters that will allow traction control to be active. Also make sure to check the boxes of the various traction control methods that you're using. The last step of course is to make sure that your wheel speed sensors are configured, and to do so please see our documentation. So that about covers it for the 2006 through 2009. 
Now, although the 2305 doesn't have a VSA switch or a VSA lamp, both a switch and a lamp can be added for that same function. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Click the link down below for more information on this product.